Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to Let's Play Cities Skylines 2. It is finally here. Well, at least for me. Technically, I am playing on a pre-release version of the game, about uh, currently about a couple weeks ahead of release. Your version may or may not be the same as this. There may be some changes between him and here and then. You know, general disclaimer over there. But listen, I just want to jump into the game. I'm so hyped to be playing. Let's go ahead and start a new game. We've got a variety of maps in here. Obviously, you, we can probably expect more to come out in the future, especially with, you know, uh, fan modding, etc., etc. as we go forward. I'm going to play on the Great Highlands map to start off with, um, which comes with a European theme by default, although we can change that. We get a little update about the climate and other information there. If we hit start, we are going to name our city New Air. Now, Air, of course, is a Scottish town. Um, I'm going to use the European theme indeed for this map. I'm not going to go left hand traffic though, just because my poor little right hand drive brain is not going to be able to like handle it and remember things. So um, we're going to pretend that New Air has uh, has decided to is set up somewhere maybe in Europe uh, on the mainland of the continent with right hand drive as opposed to left hand drive. I'm going to keep natural disasters off for this city because I just want to build something beautiful, you know, and I don't want to be, I don't want to have it all burned down. We are not going to start with everything unlocked, so we are going to have to do the thing where we uh, level up our town over time and unlock uh, greater and greater tools, um, which I think is going to be a great way for us to introduce ourselves to the various mechanics. I got the turtles turned off. Everything is groovy here. Let's go ahead and get started. Boom. Very quick little loading time. And here's our little starting area that we're going to have to play with. Um, we've got um, we've got our highway coming in. Uh, that comes off over here. We've also got a power connection ready to go. If we don't want to build our own power stations, we can just hook up to external power to feed our city to start off with, which seems pretty nice. And all this area is, you can see the uh, the rectangle over here. This is all the area we're be, going to be able to expand to over time. But currently, we just have this one little square that we are going to start off with, so we're going to do that. Now, if we look here, we don't have access to, you know, a lot of the roads yet or anything like that. So what I want to do is I don't want to over plan too much of what the future of the city will look like. And in fact, what I might do is I might do a thing that I've done before. We have a lot of like sort of smaller towns interconnected. I kind of often like the vibe of that. We'll see, urban sprawl being what it is will probably mean that everything will mush together at some point and turn into an urban hellscape of doom. I mean, if it's realistic, that's exactly how it's gonna work. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So off our uh, off our highway over here, uh, we've got a little bit of a rundy boot. That's right, roundabouts are built into uh, city skylines now, which is nice to see. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue with this four lane road for some time. I mean, I can't go too far because we've got the edge of our owned area over here. And I think that's okay. I don't want one long two lane road um, that is gonna be overloaded. I really wanna try to force traffic to split as much as possible, but I think we'll go ahead and build one straight out there. So I'm on the straight tool mode. I'm gonna go and click over here and we do get all these great little measurements built into city skylines now. So happy about that. I'm gonna stretch out to roughly here. You can see we've got the 180 degree snap. So we'll put that in. Almost certainly I'm gonna want this to end in a roundabout. Let's get back to that later on. Um, and I'm just gonna go, so I'm gonna sort of sketch out some things just roughly that I'm gonna to wanna to fill in here. What I would like is I would like kind of a, a swoopy curvy road that kind of follows the natural contours over here. It's something I like to do. I've done it on a few other cities before and I find that it tends to lend itself to a pretty nice kind of organic city. Um, I could do it the four lane road, but I don't think I wanna. I don't think we're gonna need it. Not for the um, residential areas, I think we're gonna be okay. So I'm just gonna use the basic two lane road over here. Possibilities. Pedestrian street, that's nice to see. I'm gonna switch to continuous mode for the curviness. And we're gonna start here. And we'll start off, yeah, we'll start off straight out. That's fine. But then very rapidly, we're gonna swoop around here. Now people probably aren't gonna wanna live right next to the uh, the highway here because it's gonna be loud. So maybe we can put some sort of service there. That's something to consider. It's quite curvy there. I don't know exactly how that's going to behave with the zoning, but it looks like it, it will work. It's possible that when a house gets plopped down there, it'll smooth the drain a little bit. Now, where do I want this ending up? I might want it to just keep continuing, actually. I'm just going to end it here. 
But I think the idea is once we expand our our like own terrain to there, I'm gonna just continue this road that way. Now, this, I mean, it's just a two lane road and it's getting quite long, but I don't think there's gonna be any reason for anyone to drive along the whole thing, assuming we have some other connections going on here. I think we're gonna do that. Maybe I'll assume that from here, the landscape I guess I'm having okay let me do a little bulldozing I wonder if I can put the roundabout on the end there okay good and then over here and let's go back to a four lane road connecting that now almost certainly we're gonna want a little bit more so I mean this I think is rife for like maybe a higher density um, commercial or maybe apartment buildings later on when we when we gain access to that and I think we'll have to plan for a few a little bit more high density we might want I might want an extra straight road or two behind here connecting how connecting to where maybe it can be divided over here yeah I think that's probably fine and connecting here do I want a four lane no maybe just a straight two lane road Okay, but now I wanna go back to swoopy, swoopy roads. Swoopy, swoopy. Do I want a corner here? I may not want a corner. What I might wanna do is have it in there and we actually might connect in that spot. Let's see. Just so we're just sort of free handing here. We're, uh, we're getting a little bit of, you know, Bob Ross. We're okay to make like happy little accidents if need be, because honestly, that can lead to some interesting I want, I could make like almost a 90 degree corner, but I mean, all these are 90 degrees, but like, you know, a tighter radius corner over here with an extra click and then something. I could have it connect up here. I don't know. And here for now, do I want to do another road that kind of follows this pattern? Actually, rather than curve, I think what we're going to do. Right, and then if this connected up, like that, and then is this the end? Does that connect? I think I like the idea of that connecting there, and then maybe I kind of don't want to uh, encroach on the zoning on this part of the road. I think I want to smooth this part out a little bit. You know? It doesn't seem super appealing to me. So if we... Bring out a little bit. All right, I like that. I think I'm happy with this. And then from here, just connect up this way maybe? Right, that's starting to shape up into something. Maybe I'll wait before I fill in this part. I like that. Now, what I also want is I want a very, so we got nice little sushi curvy bits over here. I want a boxy industrial area here. So I'm gonna switch, um, actually not the straight line tool. I'm gonna switch to this grid tool. I will line it up with that roundabout from here. And yeah, I like that angle, that's good. There, okay. Um, do I want to four lane it? Sure. Okay, that kind of suits me okay. Let's start with this. Let's do some zoning. So we don't have access to a lot of the different zone types right now, which is fine. What I'm gonna do is, let me just switch to the Marque tool here, and I'm just gonna go and block out this whole area to start off with. Then I'm gonna to switch to commercial zone and the paint bucket mode. Let me turn off this little highlight here. It's quite bright right now. We'll plan for commercials maybe on both sides of this main street. I mean, that feels kind of right. 
Just fill those in. Um, don't zone anything over there. Uh, actually, maybe be commercial there. That's gonna be fine. And then we're gonna switch to industrial, so we just have industrial manufacturing currently available. And actually, maybe cancel this. I think we're gonna put a landfill over there. So we'll get that block going on. Okay, so we'll unpause. We will get some complaints when people move in because there's no power and there's no water happening yet. Um, how do I want to handle the power situation? Wind turbines? We could put wind turbines in the middle. There's actually decent electrical production here, almost a full five megawatts. Ooh, that's kind of low. That's pretty good. There's some good ones over here. You can also just import power from outside the city. Man, that is really low. These would be these would be good spots for it, but yeah, this power generation is terrible. We could also just put down a coal power plant. I mean, we've got we're gonna have pollution here from an industrial area regardless. You know what? If I can't commit to what we're gonna do, maybe I should just import power from outside. Now we will need a transformer station, but at least that's not super huge. Put a little transformer station maybe right here. And then it needs to be connected to the high power grid. So I'm just gonna bring it out this way. And like that. Okay, so now we got power. Before we're gonna pause, let's get the water situation figured out. So we got a sewage outlet. The water running this way. Let's go drop the sewage outlet way over here. And then a pumping station. Right here, let's say. Now the pumping station needs a road. Let's use a gravel road, maybe? Oh, I'm on grid mode. No, that's not what I want. Um, I think I want continuous curve. Minimize how much of the housing I smash here. Oh, did I not get you close enough? This doesn't actually need to be... F um... Like, tight, tight, I've noticed before. Close is fine. I can turn off some of the snapping as well. I wonder if the slope is just really messing with me here. That's possible. Turn off all the snapping. There we go. Now it's happy with it. Yeah, I think this slope was really messing with us a little bit. Now, in City Skylines 2, your water and power is connected to the road system, which makes a lot of sense in my opinion. So this should be connected, especially once we pause. The sewage, we don't need a road to the outflow here. We just need to get a sewage pipe that connects up to our road network. And then if we unpause, let the game run, there we go. All the complaints go away. House are gonna start to fill up. Let's run it on top speed for a second here. We've got some construction starting up. No one's moving into these places yet. Oh, actually, oh, some residents have already picked up this place. Wow. And yeah, electrical demand's not being met. That's okay. And all of our houses have power. We're just having to pay for the external ones. Masterful counterpart. You're listening to Second Moon Radio, the station of levitated tastes. Don't touch that dial. Yeah. <laughs> I just. There we go. I actually do really like the announcements uh, in when I'm playing, but it might get in the way here while we're recording the video. They have a lot of personality. You can get the uh, information about the state of your city. And yeah, there's an option for like ads, which I think is ads for like local businesses in the game, which is a great little persona, but I'm gonna try to cut back on the, uh, the talking here just for the video making purposes. See, I'm a little bit worried about these houses might complain about loudness. That might be a good, like decent places to maybe just put some parks or something. But we'll see. We don't have parks unlocked yet. We're just waiting to gain enough XP, which you do get from building some things, but mostly here we're waiting for the um, the residents to come in. Let me go and plop down. These are all zoned. I wonder, like, what kind of road... Do we have anything that doesn't have any zoning right now? I don't think so. Uh, medium roads. It's gonna be like 
some of the small highways. That's probably it's probably two lane highway is what this is. Because I would like to create another connection to the outside. I mean, what are we gonna want with this? This actually might get mostly upgraded just a big two lane something or other. I guess short term. Hey, we've unlocked right now tiny village. And we've unlocked the pop musician mansion. Okay, hold on. Let me connect you up. I think that's probably gonna get torn down later but just to give you another connection to the outside, just in case it helps with things. Okay, so a few things have just happened. We can take a look at our progression bar, by the way, over here, the milestones to get to these places. So tiny, small, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, by, this is just the same as in uh, City Skylines 1. Um, you do get a money as a bonus when you reach these milestones and unlock some various things. We also get these development points, which you can see on this tab over here. So some buildings and things unlock automatically, but a lot of the upgraded versions of things, you actually have to spend development points to get. So for example, with the crematorium, we would unlock it with a development point as opposed to doing the cemetery. But let's start with the cemetery, that's gonna be fine. I might just unlock like more roundabout options. That sounds like fun. We got access to roundabouts, we're gonna use them. We're also gonna go ahead and put down this uh, pop musician mansion, which gives a plus two well-being within 500 meters, which is quite the range. Where am I gonna put you? I kind of feel like I'm gonna put you here. You know, like right on the coast like this, I like that. Now, this probably isn't the best place to put it to take advantage of the bonus with as many houses, but I think it's a nice spot for it, so I'm gonna do it. Anyway, let's get some healthcare going on. So we're gonna medical clinic. I think I'm gonna put this down on this main road section over here. Maybe tuck it into this corner here. So you can see the text on the overlapping items. When it's red, it means it's a hard overlap. We can't put it here because it's overlapping the roads. But when it turns to this orangey, that it is overlapping, but it's just overlapping like a zoned construction. So there's a res there's a commercial building over here. But we're just gonna go ahead and replace that. That's gonna be okay. Now for death care, we got a cemetery. I think I'm gonna put this in the, in the residential district. Yeah, I think I like this spot right here. I think that makes a lot of sense. All right. And then for garbage management, well, currently everything is locked. Other than the landfill, we're gonna plop one of these down. And I've been reserving this area kind of sorta for that. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of pollution in the area, but hopefully just the industrial zone is gonna be bothered by it. We're gonna plop that down. Then we actually define the area that the landfill has to store garbage. So I'm gonna go and just drag out a little square around this. Um, maybe, you know what, I will leave some space here. Lovely. Okay. Of course, we can get the incinerator. Keep the garbage under control. We got our power station there. And yeah, just importing power for now, which I think I'm fine with. Now, because we did complete our first milestone, we do have some extra map tiles we can buy. So the map tiles you can buy are much smaller than previously, but you get a lot more. So it means you can actually sort of like get something that like it's a little bit more finely tuned. So I could just unlock tiles right along the coast, you know? Although I think first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unlock these two just cause I kinda wanna finish this resident or this industrial zone and square it off a little bit. I'm gonna leave one uh, zone unpurchased for now, unbutton. Although we can see our needs right now are actually more residential zoning. So we are gonna look into that, but let me go, yeah, and just, just finish that up. Cause that, that was really bugging me with these zones here. All right. That's squared off. But yeah, people want more living space. And in particular, you can see we need both low density and medium density zoning. These are separated as far as desires go. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna fill in this area here for more zoning. This is gonna be more low density zoning. Maybe what I'll do, let me switch to straight mode here with this tool. Love that snap along this building. Okay, so good. Um, Do I have straight lines out of this? Maybe. What would look better? More swoopiness in here? I actually think the square being right next to some of the swoopy might look nice. My square just mostly mean some, some straight sort of gritty lines. Um, so we're gonna need a road that comes off that and then also connects somewhere else. connect over here. I don't think that's going to generate too many intersections. I don't think I want 
this one connect? This one might, though. sure that I do. I don't hate it. I'm just not sure if I love it. So, we can get some medium density row housing going on. I'm thinking of maybe putting it on the outside of this area here. Or maybe just these blocks, actually, yeah. So this is going to kick some people out. Sorry, people. We're going to make some row housing right behind this. There you go. We can see some needs drop here. But we'll get a fluctuation in our population because we did just kick some people out. Let some new people move in. Okay, we're about to get another milestone here. Yes, I know. We're not, we're not meeting our demands. It's okay. We're just importing things. It's going to be fine. I think we are going to have to buy some new tiles over here um, to expand our residential zone. Because, yeah, we still, like, we're not using up all of our industrial space yet. Which makes sense. Each one of these buildings does hire a whole lot of people. Like this. So, full of foods over here, uh, which takes in vegetables and livestock, produces food. They want 17 employees, which is not currently being met, Pending which is why we're not running at full efficiency. Although our employees are happy, which is nice to see. Hey, small village. To remain calm during these breaks and Listen, I don't think we're having rolling blackouts. We're just buying money from outside the city. It's fine. But if they're going to keep complaining about it, we might go in now. Local authorities are urging the public there. to we'll conserve more here. water and reduce the burden on the city well, not during sure. this water shortage. Consider installing a low flush toilet, cut back on watering the lawn, and shower with a friend whenever possible. This has been a local public service. All right, service. let's do this. I think we'll want to buy some more that tiles here relatively soon. We're going to want to clean up this road. So again, I'd made a little temporary road connection here just so we have another outdoor thing, but we'll see. Oh, a new warehouse has been opened up. How lovely. And yeah, some of these actually do just store. Like this here, this doesn't produce anything. This is just a storage. It stores convenience food. So presumably industrial buildings ship to here, and then from here we ship out to various commercial buildings. There you go. Here's a place that sells convenience food, for example. Yeah, I'm actually really curious about the new um, industrial sort of workflow here. Ooh, demand for commercial is going up. Actually, I think we will... I build would be more a little commercial block somewhere in here. Just some, some little corner wages. shops. But Maybe so one there? We'll be back after this. A there? Is driving up you know, if it can minimize traffic as well, because maybe people can, like, walk to their local news. corner store? We're joined today by an expert guest. Professor there. We'll drop a well, few of those. Professor. People are still so moving in and out. Everything's being rebalanced. Population's growing, too. though. That's good. Um, oh, we did unlock schools. I might not build a high school right away, but maybe an elementary school. Right here? There you go. Lots of happy. Yeah, I mean, next to the cemetery, but, you know, it's like there was some municipal land over here is basically what happened. So we built some, mini some municipal buildings, and then, yeah, we've got the neighborhood around. Commercial demand still very high. It'll be interesting to see. Maybe, do they go down after this? I mean, they're already already hired here. Petrochemicals. Oh, is this going to be a gas station? Sorry, a petrol station. A gasoline station. I think maybe. All right, industry still building up. Wow, I can't believe how much commercial demand we've got. We don't have um, access to higher density commercial, do we? No, not yet. Soon, I think. Does it tell us when we unlock this? Oh, it needs to be a great town. So that is a while away. All right, so low density commercial is going to continue to be the thing. 
Can I population increase, citizen happiness, yeah, population keeps growing. I'm expecting we're gonna start to see the residential demand go up again, as you know, all these houses fill up. Okay, you know what? I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna pause. We're gonna put a cut in here. I think we've got a lovely little town developing. Now, one downside with this industrial area here is at some point, like when we were building it, it felt like we were on the edge of the space, but at some point this is gonna become very centralized. Are we gonna be happy about that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe we build like kind of a green space around it and then we build, yeah, some more housing and things on the other side. And this can just be considered the first town and we can sort of in our head, well, I mean, we might use districts to sort of delineate things. Um, not that the areas have been unlocked yet, but we will get that large village. Uh, so we can name these little subtowns, which I've done before, which I think adds a lot of personality to things. So we'll see. But in any case, we're going to follow this up next time. Folks, if you are new to the channel, of course, subscribe so you don't miss anything. And in general, liking and commenting videos uh, makes such a massive difference on the YouTube algorithm. That's why people are always saying, you know, like, comment, subscribe, um, because, because it's important. I appreciate you. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.